Good thing these guys aren't your friends. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 jackass pranks. Hey, just a quick reminder, if you like this video, be sure to smash that like button and hit subscribe for more great content every day. For this list, we're looking at all the jackass movies, including Bad Grandpa, and choosing the funniest, most brutal tricks they've pulled on each other and the public. To be clear, these are pranks, not stunts. We have a completely separate list for stunts. And as a warning, all of these pranks were performed by <clears throat> professionals, if you can call them that. So do not try this at home. Don't worry, yeah. just do what he says. Just do what the f he says, dude. <laughs> Number 10, April's Alligator. are sure that Jackass star Bam Margera loves his parents, Phil and April, very deeply, but you'd never know it from watching this franchise, as he tortures them with all sorts of shenanigans. Is this thing real? This alligator! Audiences get a true understanding of Bam's affinity for pranking his parents when he sets a real, live alligator loose on April. Entering her home late one night, she walks into her kitchen to find an alligator lounging on her floor. <laughs> April goes into full panic mode, letting her flight response take over as she hides in the laundry room, refusing to leave even after the entire crew reveals themselves. Can you really blame her though? That is the scariest fucking thing I ever saw in my whole life! <laughs> Don't leave, where the hell are you going? Number 9, The Electric Stool. This is champion card thrower Jim Carroll. He's come to throw cards into Wee Man's ass. Originally, this skit was conceived simply as an excuse to throw cards at Wee Man's butt crack. However, it soon evolved when the card-throwing expert they brought in for the trick mentioned that he had an electric stool in the trunk of his car. They rolled with the idea, and with their new prop, turned the simple, idiotic scene into a rather clever prank. With his back to the thrower and his exposed behind firmly on the stool in question, the guys gave Wee Man a shock every time a card was thrown. Three, I'm gonna whip it at you. You might feel a little bit, all right? Five, three, ready? Don't worry about it. One, two, Ah! Ah! Best of all, Wee Man confidently thought he'd figured it out, adamantly claiming that there must be a throwing machine. Little did he know. No, there's a machine in here <laughs> doing it. Number eight, Pit of Snakes. So in this trailer, we have a false floor with an 11 foot deep pit we dug and filled with rubber snakes. There's no doubt that the cast of Jackass is brave. They wouldn't be able to pull off some of their pranks and stunts otherwise. Still, they're not immune to fright, and throughout the films, the cast plays on each other's deepest and darkest fears. It's pretty well known that Bam Margera is terrified of snakes, and in this clip, he's thrown into his worst nightmare. Or rather, he falls into it. Lured into a pit, Bam finds himself trapped among fake rubber snakes. Soon, however, the crew dumps real, massive, hissing snakes into the pit, and Bam freaks out. Dude, stop f***ing with me! Hey, Bam! Bam! Dude, I f***ing hate you guys! Near tears and unable to escape, he begs for help until rescue arrives. Dude, you can't do that to me, man. <laughs> Sorry, bud. Dude, that is the worst fear I could ever imagine. You f***ing dick-sucking f***ing asshole. Mother just did that to me. Number seven, Gorilla Hotel. Ape and Phil just arrived in Los Angeles, and as soon as they check in their hotel room, there's gonna be a gorilla in there. Much like April's alligator, the gang bills this one as a surprise animal attack on Bam's parents. Three movies into the franchise, the guys play on the fact that Bam's parents expect to be pranked. No, 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 no. It's okay, it's okay, okay. This is Samson, this is Samson, just don't make eye contact. Rather than use a real gorilla, a stuntman is placed in a realistic looking gorilla suit and the hotel room is strategically dimly lit in the hopes that Phil and April's imaginations will take over. Samson, ooh, 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 okay, okay. The prank works perfectly as they instantly believe the ruse. Furthering the prank, the guys bring in a fake animal trainer, but he soon falls under the, quote, gorilla's attack. From there, as Bam predicted, all hell breaks loose. Oh, is this supposed to be just a or something? Number six, sunscreen. Knoxville always just it pranks everybody and always gets away with it because it's very difficult to get him. Uh, but we got him. Although Johnny Knoxville is usually the instigator of pranks, there's no immunity among this bunch, so even he gets targeted from time to time. 
In this bit from the sequel to Jackass 3D, Knoxville doesn't suffer a one-time prank. Rather, the crew plays a long con. Come on, put the f***ing thing in the f***ing thing. Over the course of several months, the guys convince Knoxville to regularly apply a simple face lotion. In reality, however, the face lotion is actually horse semen. Yep, he put horse semen on his face. It actually happened. Of course, no prank would be complete without its reveal, and the moment could not have been sweeter. And I knew one day the consistency of my sunscreen had changed. It got super stringy. Super stringy, and I thought it just got so hot in the car. But no, it wasn't, it wasn't because of the heat. It was horse cum. Number five, Valentine Punch. Hi, jackass guys. I heard you were staying at this hotel. Part of the appeal of the jackass group is that they're relatively normal guys who made it big. In this skit, Knoxville plays on the cast's developing egos, targeting their newly established fame for a prank. My name is Stephanie, and me and my friends love you. Some of you actually hooked up with my sister four years ago. I don't care about that. <laughs> Staying in a hotel, Knoxville placed a fake love letter from a fan on a hallway wall. The letter is funny, but the literal punchline is even better. Some of you actually hooked up with my sister four years ago. <laughs> That's probably you. <laughs> As the letter is read, the text gets smaller and smaller until the reader has to get nice and close, and then BAM! A spring-loaded boxing glove explodes from behind the letter and punches the reader right in the face. Me and my friends. <laughs> Needless to say, the gang easily fell victim, but they rolled with the punches. It's the stupidest thing I've ever seen. Number four, the beauty pageant. Bet we could have stirred up some trouble here. Damn shame I gotta drop you to dad's tomorrow. Aw, oh, to hell with it. Let's go have some fun. Jackass guys have done some pretty outrageous pranks in public settings, but this one absolutely takes the cake. I got an idea. <laughs> Johnny Knoxville's bad grandpa enters his grandson Billy, played by young actor Jackson Nickel, into a beauty pageant dressed as a girl. Knoxville certainly plays instigator, making lewd comments to over-the-top pageant moms, but the real credit has to go to Jackson. This is number 10, Mindy Dill. He fits in with the girls no problem, and then turns it up a notch with a stripper pole dance set to Warren's Cherry Pie. She's my cherry pie. Speaking to The Daily Beast, Knoxville disclosed that Nickel worked on the routines for two months. His commitment paid off, as this is one of the most shocking bits they've ever done. Swing it! Number three, the high five. My name is Johnny Knoxville, and this is the high five. Sometimes you train for two months to learn dance moves for your prank, and other times you hit people with a giant hand. Either way, the end result is pretty serious laughter. What's up, What's up nerd? <laughs> Knoxville hides a giant, spring-loaded hand behind a doorway, and lures unsuspecting cast members into the trap, which only gets better when they start bringing props into the mix. They get a few guys with flour, and even convince one to walk through holding a tray of hot soup. He should have seen that one coming, but thankfully for us, he did not. He fell for the soup! <laughs> Number two, golf course air horn. This is called the golf course air horn. When people tee off, when they're coming down with their uh, swing, we're going to blow these air horns. They say simplicity is the secret to great happiness, and in this skit, we see that on full display. <laughs> Here we have golfers out for a pleasant day on the green, but we also have the jackass crew sporting air horns, and boy do those simple toys cause a lot of laughs. <laughs> Stalking groups from the tree line, the crew takes turns disturbing the piece the moment golfers take a swing. This results in whiffs, long lost balls, and a whole lot of anger. What I tell you? Here, you lost your club. The crew has a ton of fun throwing shade at the golfers as they try to flex muscles and intimidate. Sit back and enjoy, because no one can wind up a person like Johnny Knoxville. <laughs> Watch this, wait, wait. He's down, wait. Wait. <laughs> Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Derby. Number one, Terror Taxi. Hello, my name is Aaron McGee, and this is Terror Taxi. It would seem wrong to award any other prank the number one spot. This one not only took intense planning, collaboration from every member of the cast, as well as an outside source, but it also, best of all, completely fooled the victim. You're a crazy man, f you up, f you, asshole, shit, f shit, f asshole. 
Fuck. The bit started as an excuse for Aaron to wear a beard full of pubic hair. Yes, he was tricked into that. But the real trick is way harsher. I'll blow us! I'll blow us up right now! Right now! With Broken Lizard's Jay Chandrasekhar portraying a taxi driver, the crew turns Aaron's own prank of pretending to be a terrorist around on him. Dude, get the f off of me! Hey, get the, the, hey, the f off of me! Get the f off of me! Chandrasekhar pulls a gun on Aaron, locks him in the trunk, and then pretends to shoot members of the cast. It was a 100% successful ruse. I almost shit my pants, I'm not even kidding. <laughs> Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Watch Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.